Tonight, what happened to Sean? It is a story News 3 reporter Ellen Ice has covered from the beginning. A 12 year old boy whose death was ruled a suicide and a community that does not agree with that ruling. Ellen shares the family's story on the one year anniversary of his death. In this York County neighborhood in April of 22, a boy was found hanging from the swing set in his backyard, spurring questions in the community even a year later. It's been a year. How are you all feeling right now? Hmm. It's, it's been a tough year. I mean, it's, it can't, I can't believe it's already been a year and we've not had Sean in our life every day. Sean Doherty was found hanging with a bag over his head, arms bound to his side a year ago today. Today was extra tough too, because mm -hmm. this morning we woke up and we, the thought was a year ago he was with us in the morning. Yeah. And he was gone in the evening. The office of the chief medical examiner ruled Sean's death a suicide. The family doesn't agree. He deserves, uh, if, if not us, he deserves the, the answers for him. The bands, everyone gets one. I can hear you guys. I'll give you each. Friday night, friends, community members, and Sean's parents, Jared and Ramona Rivas, gathered to remember the life the 12 year old boy left behind. That was Sean's favorite house over there for Halloween. Anyone that's supporting us is really supporting Sean more than us, right? It's about making sure that uh, every question that gets asked gets answered. Step by step, memorializing the life of a boy gone too soon. All of it for Sean. Just to feel that, that uh, Sean's life mattered. I reached out to the York Picosin Sheriff's Office for an update on this case. They said no comment. In York County, Ellen Ice, News 3.